Hey, what's going on guys? Darius here and um, I'm feeling better so I decided to make a signature tutorial and uh, yeah and this one's gonna be on uh, finishing a signature so uh, you start with a base and uh, then you probably discard a signature because you don't think it's good enough so uh, I'm just gonna show you a few things you can do to just add uh, a few uh, more effects to your signature and make it better and uh, just don't say no yet to a signature before you finish it so um, okay let's get started so as you can see I have a basic signature here I have a render uh, which is Skrillex I decided to go with Skrillex now and this is a vertical signature and um, this is the logo here uh, and uh, a couple of C4Ds here and here so it's just one, two, three, four layers. And this is the base that you will have when you start your signature, uh, so to say. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just to show you the steps to finish it. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a great outcome. So what I like to do uh, to uh, signatures like this is add uh, some uh, fractals. So I have this uh, fractal pack by uh, Green Tunic. Uh, you probably already have it from a previous video tutorial I made on these and um, I made it available in the video description so I'm gonna show you why these are uh, really helpful so I'm gonna just drag it into Photoshop now I'm assuming you watch my other tutorials and uh, you already know uh, the basic steps like transformation and uh, uh, stuff like that like right now I'm in transform mode and can just resize this and I'm gonna press enter and place it. I'm gonna put it in the background so it uh, doesn't show over the C4Ds or something. So I'm gonna put this on screen and this is gonna remove the black part and just gonna leave the lights on. So I'm gonna put it here, like so. And uh, now I'm gonna add some uh, nebulas and the nebulas are fantastic. Our, um, I got these from a Moonchild stock. Uh, she's a deviant, she's or he, I don't know if it's, if it's a she. Uh, but <laughs> um, there are some awesome resources uh, to use with your uh, signatures and uh, I mean check that out these are basically space stocks and um, yeah they're really awesome to using signatures and uh, for this signature I'm gonna use this uh, binary stock and I'm gonna just gonna drag it in through Photoshop and uh, I'm gonna resize it a bit and uh, there you go and this is gonna act as uh, th these actually make awesome backgrounds so make sure to use them often if you have them if you get the if you get the occasion so I'm gonna put this one on screen too and just gonna move it around here and that looks fantastic just like a little bit of light there and I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna put it under so we have some lights under too and I'm gonna duplicate one again and I'm gonna put it um, on top of the C4D is the logo and the render, so on top of everything. And uh, check that out, uh, you can just move it around and can just add this uh, this uh, space uh, nebula thingy effect to your signature. So I'm going to put it right about here. And uh, as you can see, our signature is starting to take shape and uh, I really like it. So I'm going to make a new copy of the nebula and just place it somewhere else like here. Yeah, probably here. I don't want it to go on the face and uh, mess with my focal too much <laughs> so I'm just gonna make another copy I'm gonna put it here it's all about experimentation like there's no pattern to uh, making a signature uh, unless it's a specific signature that you want to copy or something so just go wild with it improvise uh, that's all you need to do um, okay so uh, now we need to add a light source so I'm gonna make a new layer on top of everything I'm gonna grab a uh, soft brush uh, right now in this case I have a uh, Hardness Zero 504 pixel brush and uh, this is gonna go here and I'm gonna choose a uh, blue color probably this one here I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna put this one on screen so this is gonna just gonna give us a bit of light above but uh, now I'm gonna take the brush again and I'm gonna take the white the white color sorry and I'm gonna put it just here so we have like uh, a white fading to blue on uh, our focal and uh, now let's just play a bit with the uh, adjustment layers let's add some gradients um, let's add some uh, vibrance and some levels probably some curves also so I'm gonna go to my uh, 
adjustment layer thingy here. I'm gonna select uh, gradients. Where are they? Gradient map. And uh, I'm gonna put it on soft light and opacity about 33. Okay, yeah, that's good. Let's go back to our gradients. And uh, now all you have to do is just click around and see uh, which gradient fits your signature better, which uh, makes it look better. And uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, this is a red looks nice. I want to always try the uh, rainbow thingy here <laughs> because I really like it. And um, I often go first for it to see if it looks good on the signature. And yeah, it looks pretty good, but I'm probably going to go with something more red like this and I'm gonna select OK. Uh, now I'm gonna add a uh, vibrance uh, adjustment layer here and just gonna pop up the vibrance so this is gonna make the colors uh, pop out more and the saturation here just don't overdo it because if you put it to the max it's gonna hurt your eyes it's a really intense color and uh, if you go down here it's gonna make it black and white so just stay uh, on a normal level and I say plus nine here uh, should do. Now let's add some curves. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select curves and uh, let's just move this around here and just make like a little S. If you make the uh, curve here it's gonna make the spots darker and here's gonna make them uh, lighter like this so not not too much light. There we go. I'm probably gonna put this here. Okay and now we're gonna go here and select the blue thingy and this is a personal touch. You can play with the curves how much you want. You can do and add the effects that you want. Uh, this is just uh, an example of uh, how to add a few things to your signature. So I'm just gonna drag this blue bar here like so and like this. And as you can see our signature is really beginning to take some shape and already it looks really really awesome. Uh, what else can we add? Probably some levels. Hmm. Levels here, there we go. I'm just gonna put the darks here like so. The medium like so. There you go, and the lights a bit up. And there you go, our signature <laughs> is almost done. Let's make a new layer and uh, go to image and then apply the image. And uh, this is gonna put your image, uh, your entire image that you see on a single layer. And what you can do now is just grab your blur tool for a second. Uh, strength 23 right now, I have this. Uh, size uh, 112 and just gonna blur uh, the the sides a bit and just where the C4Ds are so they, um, they don't mess with the focal so much and just puts it out a bit more like this and you have it. Uh, so there you go our signature uh, is done right now we can also sharpen the render so we're gonna select our sharpen tool probably gonna select a bigger size and the uh, strength probably about uh, 22 and just gonna go and brush on top of uh, our Skrillex render. And uh, yeah, our signature is done. Maybe just brush around the logo here, and there you have it. Uh, that's how you basically finish a signature. Uh, and as you can see, if I just group these, let me just group these all together so we see how it was before and after. So I'm gonna add them to the group. And um, if I hide these, as you can see, this is what we had before. Let me just hide the stocks too. So, and, and this is what we have after uh, we apply the effects and uh, the nebulas and stuff. Uh, actually, I'm going to put some uh, nebulas in the description. I'm going to link you to um, this person that makes them on DeviantArt and uh, even the fractals. So make sure to read the description of the video. It's really important. And the uh, last thing that I'm going to add to the signature is a topaz filter. If you don't know what it is, it's, um, it's a really cool thing that makes your images look uh, much, much cleaner. So I'm going to go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and Topaz Clean. Now, don't ask me how to get this because uh, you can uh, simply Google uh, Topaz Clean and uh, you have your ways of getting it. You know where to get it. And I'm going to select this crisp style here. And uh, as you can see, it looks... Um, really clean <laughs> and uh, this looks like fire here or something which is really awesome and uh, I'm gonna leave the strength to about two and uh, let's not overdo it let me just lower the opacity a bit and um, there you go about 74 percent and let me just erase uh, the, the face here because it looks weird so whatever looks weird uh, with the topaz filter and uh, just make sure to erase it so I'm gonna go around the face here and uh, that's basically the only thing that we needed uh, to uh, 
uh, modify probably the hair here a bit and there you have it you made a awesome signature and uh, it didn't took too long and uh, yeah that's basically how you finish it uh, I hope you like the tutorial and um, make sure to subscribe uh, like this video and uh, you know what to do I hope that after watching this video when you start a signature don't just give up on it halfway uh, make sure to finish it because every signature can look great uh, if you add the proper effects to it so make sure to do that also I have a uh, signature of the week competition going up on uh, yosh.com uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description and if you wanna participate you can just go there and uh, yeah join the competition and the winners will be actually featured on the Yosh GFX YouTube channel uh, which has about uh, I don't know 8,000 8, plus subscribers right now and uh, this is gonna give you quite a bit of a, a chance and uh, you can get a bit of fame maybe you know maybe just uh, put yourself out there so people can, can see that you got what it takes uh, so yeah make sure to join it and on another note I would like to mention that uh, I'm gonna try to uh, release a tutorial a week uh, it's really hard to think of uh, what to show you guys uh, so um, it really helps me when you suggest what you want to learn uh, in the comments and uh, you can also PM me so it's really really important uh, for me because uh, I don't know <laughs> I most of the time I just uh, stop making uh, tutorials because I don't know what to show you anymore so if you have any suggestions just uh, leave it in the comments uh, PM me and uh, yeah you know what to do see you later guys cheers